yes, there we go. A bit of speed wobble there. Uh, and that's how we're kicking off Send It Sunday this week. That was, of course, Twan Versput, who is the Dutch record holder, the national record holder. Uh, he's a pretty fast dude. He's actually just changed sponsors this year. AV Boards. 0.7 sales and he has been flying around actually put a video on the channel this week it's gone flipping crazy everyone loves to see someone blasting you know foils have been the talk of the town for a while but nothing beats that pure on the edge fin just you know what i mean proper spritzing yeah, and that first clip, when he crashed, he reckoned he was doing, uh, well, peaking 36 knots. That's pretty fast, man. That's pretty fast on that choppy stuff. Um, he's obviously in Gran Canaria at the moment, uh, but there's been some action going on in Tenerife. Yes, the TWS slalom training is in full flow. And from what I've seen from the head cam, it looks like someone's got a few new 360 cams because the footage that's been coming out is all from the 360 cam and there's been some close shaves. Yeah, I think I saw the best one was uh, with Enrico Marotti just bearing down, just straight around the front, just going for the gap. This is training, remember. This is training. The PWA has not kicked off this year, but we are crossing our fingers that it does go ahead, or at least we get some events, and we can see all this training is going to pay off. Um, but... You know, we're talking about the Canaries. Uh, we've talked about jumping in the Canaries and stuff. Well, actually, I saw some stuff from Mark Paré last week, um, and he was just going crazy over there in uh, GC. Yeah, he's actually a different story now because he's back in Denmark. <laughs> Minus three. Look at his little face. <laughs> but we're going to do more about the cold stuff later. But before we do that, we're going to stay in the Canaries and we're going to talk about expectation versus reality. Now, you might have seen a bit of this stuff on social media, but it involves these two fellas. Danny Bruch, yeah, Mr. Bruch boards himself, and uh, Jochen, yeah, Jochen Stroll. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, now, these two are no stranger to hunting out big waves. Um, nearly every winter, they make the massive trip up north to the top of Tenerife, and they get those big old swells coming in. I just swallowed a fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I've seen, you know, over the years, I have seen some amazing footage and pictures from up north. It gets massive up there. Yeah, we've seen Alex Mussolini up there as well. Obviously, Jochen's up there. Danny Bruch, as obviously. And these are the sort of shots and sort of conditions they go hunting down. Now, they went hunting this last week. But, <laughs> I say but, it may be didn't go according to plan. Uh, and he sent us a few pictures and a bit of video, and I'm going to try and piece together the story. So they've gone up north, they're at one of the spots, and it is massive. And they're looking for a way out. Now, there's no real way out. Um, he said about 90% of the time, this is what Joachim tells me, you've got to swim out. So you get in the water, you wait for a lull in the set, and you swim out, and then there's enough wind out there to get on a wave. Um, it, it's very hard to sail out. And uh, all the pretty much it was low tide and there was a big discussion between Jochen and Danny whether it's worth it. But Danny being Danny, he's like, I'm going for it. I'm going to have a go. So he swims out. He doesn't make it. That's a long story short. He doesn't make it. Comes back up the rocks. Yeah. No damage. So, you know, got away with it. You're like, OK, you got away with it, Danny. Probably time to go home. <laughs> This is Danny Bruce. He goes, no, I'm not happy. I'm going again. Uh, and they come up with a new launching site, which is this harbour wall, which they say is about 30 centimetres wide. And you have to walk down this, dropping off the end, then try and water start out or swim out. Time the sets. You don't get nailed. Like, there's a lot going on. And it's big. You know, the waves are sometimes breaking over the harbour wall. Um, another long story short, Danny apparently standing after on his second attempt, his first attempt, he drops in, swims out, gets unlucky, gets a set on the head, gets washed up the beach, comes in, still no damage. Um, then I think Jochen has a go. He actually makes it out. He says, luckily, just scrapes himself out and gets out the back. 
And Jochen, Jochen was on a 5.3 and a 100, I think, and 104, 103-litre board. So some big gear, some absolutely massive gear is needed and then floats around out the back waiting for that set. Um, and he's out there thinking, OK, I'm just going to pick the set wave. So then when I turn around, I come out as a flat spot. He picks the wave. He thinks he's got it all nailed. As he pulls out the back, the set comes through and literally said he took the whole set on the head, breaks his mask, gets washed up the rocks. Meanwhile, Danny's had another go in the harbour, but fell into this hole. If I found the picture now, you're looking at it, and it is just a horrible looking hole of rocks and concrete and apparently didn't damage the gear. So there you go. I hope I've told that story or done it justice to somewhat. But I mean, this is the length that some of these go to, you know, to score big wave conditions. You guys out there, have you ever done anything like that? Have you ever risked it? You know, we've seen Thomas Traversa do it as well. But I mean, that is some dedication to the cause. They asked me to say, does anyone out there want to buy him a jet ski? <laughs> I didn't think so. You never know. Maybe you can sponsor a jet ski and you get all over their little articles they make from up north in Tenerife. Or maybe you're in Tenerife with a jet ski and you want to help the boys out. Anyway, uh, we'll watch this space. Watch this space. Another sort of reality uh, versus, uh, well, sorry, expectation versus reality is, you know, when you're seeing Brasinho hitting the lip in Maui, you're seeing uh, Ricardo Campello going massive, boosting. You know, you've been in lockdown for a while and you're thinking, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. First wave up, I'm just going to smack it. Well, this is reality for Marine Hunter. Bosh! Bosh! She smashes that thing. Doesn't quite make it, but that is a hell hit. Fair play, holding it on for the girls there. Marine Hunter, love it, absolutely love it. Uh, and also, we're going to bring back a feature this week. It's probably going to be here for the next month, and it is, of course. It's freaking freezing in here, Mr. Bigglesworth. It's freaking freezing, Mr. Bigglesworth. It is freaking freezing. I mean, here in Portugal, it's 15 degrees. I got the woolly hat on. It's a bit nippy. But you know, we're talking proper cold. Um, where are we going to start? I'm going to start with this. Yeah, Kim sent me this. This is Michael from Denmark going freestyling. Just look. <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> He's walking into the water. I'm looking at the snow and I'm thinking, I'd be straight back in the van, go back home, get the kettle on. And he's out there freestyling away. And you're like, yeah, is that like smoke and mirrors, Ben? Is it really that cold? Check out the ice on his sail when he comes in. You crazy! You very crazy! You very crazy! <laughs> it's just nuts! It's absolutely nuts! Um, if you watched the show last week, you'll see that sort of speed skating, I don't know what you call it, ice windsurfing um, that they were doing, getting some pretty big speeds. Well, I got a message from Jeff Brown, says he wants to be the first man past 60 knots. Yes. Can he be? Well, I'll tell you what, I think he's up to about 54 and the world record or the GPS record for 10 seconds is held by a Swedish man. Uh, who is it? It is Henrik Maud, 56.12 knots. That's pretty quick. Can they go 60? Watch this space and keep me updated, boys. Keep me updated. Uh, don't forget, if you've got any clips, send them to me. I am hoarding a load of clips. I can't fit you all in one episode. It's impossible. And sometimes you will get missed. That is just the nature of it. But if you've got a good clip, send it in. Send it at windsurfing.com. TV and I won't reply to you. I've got too many people to reply to. I would spend my life replying. So apologies for that. Uh, we've also got to thank the sponsors. <laughs> TheMailingRoom.com. Yes, uh, you heard last week we had a new sponsor. Um, the Servantshop.com. We're doing alternate weeks with those. So Mailing Room still on supporting Send It Sunday. So what other cold stuff has been going on? Well, I tell you what, we've seen a bit of this. Yeah, this is for Priest Devos. <laughs> what? 
Scott and Carol Martins. This was them rigging up and then walking over the dunes. I saw this literally on Facebook before I came out to film and I thought it's got to go in because the boys are just sending it. It's big. Look how big the sea is. You know, you get hit by one of them cold things. You're going to be in a bit of trouble. So be careful, boys. Be careful when you're out there sending it. But they were definitely sending it. Uh, I think it said minus nine. That is literally freezing. That's past freezing. Although I'm guessing that's with wind chill. Well, I hope it is. I really hope it is because that is cold. That is cold. Um, we also have some more sort of ice uh, surfing action up there in uh, Sweden. Stefan sent me some clips uh, of the boys just having a jolly good time. Yeah. Tell me you're watching this clip and you're not thinking, I'm going to give that a go. I am going to give that a go. I am definitely at some point in my life doing that. You are thinking that, aren't you? You know, I am. I definitely am going to do that. Um, and a couple of people asked me last week, they said, Ben, but what happens if you fall off? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was Goran. You can just hear the mast hit the ice. Yeah, it's hard. Ice is hard. But, like, the theory is, I think if you go fast, as long as you don't get hit with the, the skate thing, you're going to slide. You know, as long as you've got enough clothes on to cushion the ice burn, you're just going to slide. So it's probably quite nice, as long as you don't catapult into it. I think you're going to be all right. So you've got to go forwards and just let the slide happen. They're talking of sliding, nothing to do with cold, but I did see this clip earlier. Yeah, this is Ricardo Campello doing his slide down the lip in Jaws. Yeah, that's a pretty sick slide, is it not? That's a pretty sick slide. OK, OK, back to the cold, back to the cold and back to some more sliding action. And this involves Chris. Yeah, Chris and an old starboard and he is living the dream. He's living the dream, absolutely living the dream. If you've ever wondered what you're going to do with that old windsurfing board, I can donate it to the guys in the snow and they will take care of it because look at him. He is like a little kid. I love it, Chris. I love it. Okay, so talking to kids, we're going to end this section with this next clip. Um, now, picture the scene. You're at home. The snow is outside. It's pretty cold. And the missus goes, Dave, you've got to go look after little Johnny. I don't know sure why she's screaming. There's no reason for that. <laughs> Get him out of my hair. Go take care of him. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Build a snowman with him? I don't know. Come up with something. He goes, I know what I can do. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> this is genius. This is absolute genius. You get to do what you want to do. And little Johnny is living the dream right there. <laughs> I reckon you could charge, mate. I reckon you could charge. I'd pay. I'd pay to be skipping around. Imagine going with Jeff Brown, 56 knots. <laughs> little Johnny would be <laughs> hanging on for grim death. There you go. Oh, I actually lied. That wasn't the last shot of the cold secrets. We have one more, and this is going to kick off the young gun section. So we mix in the two together. What do we get? We get this young fella. Yes, this is 10 year old William Preesh. Look at that. Look at that for the just perfect of perfect jibes. 10. I did say 10. Just remember that when you watch the exit of that thing. Incredible, incredible. The future is bright. And why do I say that? Well, I'll tell you what, just check out these. I've got so many young rippers this week. We're going to kick off with nine-year-old Tomek. And he is completely hooked on windsurfing. He's got a 68-litre Goya quad. He's got the kids' sail. And he is just loving life. He tips the scales at a mighty 26 kgs. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He's been sailing up into like 25 knots of wind and just look at that smile i mean that is just why we windsurf that smile no matter whether you're well 
10 years old, 9 years old, 15, 20, 35, 40, 60, 70. How old are we going? I bet you most of you've still got that smile on your face when you have a good day on the water. It starts at a young age. It doesn't leave you. It doesn't leave you. It absolutely doesn't leave you. So if you've got some mates who are miserable old sods, moaning about everything, just show them this picture. Maybe remind them why we windsurf. I've got no time for miserable buggers. All right. <laughs> um, we've got another young sender coming up next, and this is Joshua. Yeah, Josh is 10 years old from the Isle of Wight um, and he's been trying around, I think, on a bit techno and then they got some new gear from him. They bought like an old, uh, a, a smaller sail off Ross Williams, I think, and an RRD kids waveboard. And they said as soon as he got this lighter, smaller gear, he was up and planing and just flying around. Nigel, his dad, says, I am chuffed to bits, Ben. He is hooked. He is totally hooked. And now I get to go sailing with him and just enjoy it together. He said, there is no better thing in the world. Now, I haven't got any kids, but I can imagine that must be just amazing that your kid shares the same passion with you. And you know, once they're hooked at that age, it doesn't get worse, it gets worse. And then you've got an excuse why you're buying all this gear. Like your style, Nige, like your style, mate, like your style. Um, okay, next up, who have we got? I think we've got this fella. Yeah, this is Cosmo. Now, Cosmo is a persistent little fella. Um, if he goes into professional windsurfing trying to get sponsorship, I reckon he's gonna get it. I think this is probably about his seventh or eighth email. He's keen. And look, he's got some skills as well. There's a no-handed uh, little bit in there. He's got some good board skills. He's 12 years old. Uh, and like I said, he's going to be a ripper. He's already a ripper. Um, so good skills, Cosmo. You're in, mate. You are in. Um, and this next one's a little funny one because uh, we featured uh, his dad in a previous episode. Yeah, Tony, episode 57, when he had the underhand grip, he went for the forward and bailed out. And I kind of give him a few little tips. He said he took them on and he's actually got a lot better. So that's really good to hear. Me just doing a few comments has helped out. Uh, but his son, Noah, watches uh, Send It Sunday and he's friends with Davina. You remember Davina? Oh, that looks Whoa. painful. That looks painful. Yeah. So uh, he's been windsurfing himself and he said to his dad, God, I had a massive crash today. Maybe I'm going to get in Send It Sunday. So I thought we'd put him in. <laughs> yeah, he said to his dad, a massive wave hit me and I flew. <laughs> That's how it feels. That is how it feels. You know, sometimes you do stuff on the water uh, and it feels maybe a bit different to what happened, but the still the passion is there and I absolutely love it. So good skills now, mate. Uh, keep it up and hopefully we'll be featuring you in future episodes. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, shit. Well, we got a little sneak preview to next week. Uh, this is Anton Payne. Yes, Anton Payne. Uh, we're going to feature him next week. Actually, he won something in the raffle as well. He's a true sender and he's over in Australia at the moment and he is going full chat. But we're going to feature his stuff next week. So stay tuned to the channel. We're going to give away the North Stick, if you remember the North Stick competition, at the end of the show. So if you want to see who won that, plus we have some Duodome prizes which have not been claimed from last week. So see if your name's on the list, if you remember. So until then, no matter where you are in the world, don't forget to send it.
Yes, welcome to the members only section. This is where you can win prizes uh, and feel good about yourself by supporting the channel like these absolute legends. We've had such a good response. I know we're giving away a few prizes as well, but I think it's only right. You support the channel. I give away some bonus prizes. Everyone's a winner. The channel gets bigger and we get more and bigger and better content. Um, so we're going to give away the Norstick. Now I did the draw before and a name come up, which is kind of familiar because I remember featuring him last week. So uh, if you don't remember the Norstick draw, we put a video on the channel and you just had to mention in the comments, Norstick RDM extension or, or something along those lines. Um, so um, I put them into the random comment picker and I pressed the magical button. And this is the guy that came up. Yeah, Dietrich DePau. Now I remember that name because he sent me a clip of him freezing his nutties off with the foil. You remember that in Holland or Belgium or somewhere? Um, yeah, so you are a winner. I'm sure it's the same name. So congratulations. You will be winning a Nordic extension. Let me know your address and your telephone number and they will send it straight to you. Now then, if you're not a member but you want a chance to win a sale, you better better join up uh, and support the channel because we are giving away two more sales. We've got a Simmer Black Tip, which aren't in stock at the moment, so I'm stalling a bit until they turn to stock. So when you win, I can send it directly to you. And we've also got uh, a Severn giveaway from the SavernShop.com. Yes, they've come in on supporting the channel this year and they're kicking off their support by giving away a Severn sale as well. So we've got two more prize draws like that and the windsurfing TV hats are on the way. Trust me, don't go with this company. It's taking me months just to get some hats. Uh, but there you go. Thanks a lot for everyone uh, watching. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up like. If you're still here, you're absolute glutton for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe see you next time lots of win this week here in portugal so we should have some proper action uh some action videos coming up